Got a very impressive threesome here with me, Spencer. To my right, Anthony Gill, senior at the University of Virginia. To his left, Matt Costello, a senior as well, Michigan State University, and Buzz Williams, the head coach at Virginia Tech. Round of applause for all three of these gentlemen joining us. Buzz, I'm going to hold you for last because we've got a nice little video clip that we'd like to introduce you with. So I'm going to start with Anthony. Anthony, welcome. Glad you're here. Good to see you up close and in 3D fashion. And um, I understand you're a bit of a um, jokester. I know you're an aggressive productive player on the floor, but you also like to have a little fun. Can you take us through maybe one or two of your favorite practical jokes? Um, I, I just like to keep the guys on the team a little uh, a little bit on their toes. Okay, that's, okay. So that's, that's my goal on the team. Other than rebounding and, and hustling <laughs> and playing defense, I keep the guys on their toes. Okay. Uh, so how do you do that? Um, just little things. Like I'll, I'll hit them in the head and then I'll run out of the room, but they don't know. What that. do you hit them with? My hand. Okay. All right. Okay. But they don't know that on their door there's tape so that they run straight into the tape <laughs> and then I just fall straight to the ground. Um, other things, when they're about to get in bed, I just put the little lotion bottle on the end of the bed so when they pull back their covers, it falls off and falls onto the ground and squirts them in the face. Um, just little things like that. Where do that. you pick this stuff up? I mean, do, where do you get these ideas? Um, my mind, I guess, you know. <laughs> Throughout the day, you know, when you're not worried about schoolwork and things like that, I'm just thinking about different things I can do to my teammates. <laughs> well, you got a big day coming up here rather soon. I think we're um, less than a week away from um, you crossing the um, line into marital bliss. Is uh, that right? Yes, sir. What's uh, that date? Is it April? April 8th. Okay, yes. round of applause. This man is less than a week from making one of the most important moves in his life. Talk a little bit about how that's come together, and you've got a little background story on that, too. Uh, yeah, so I've been with my future wife for almost eight years now, um, since high school, and, you know, I figured it was time, and, and I, I, I was ready for it. I had some good counseling, and um, so I went ahead and popped the question while I was in the Dominican Republic this summer. And we've got um, the officiant is, is, is actually here, right? Is the yeah, so I I tried my best to do, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to go all out with this wedding. So, uh -huh. you know, I tried to get, you know, all the big time ministers to come do my my uh, my wedding for me. I tried Joel Osteen, you know, he he didn't he didn't respond to me, you know. Um, <laughs> TD Jakes didn't respond to me. So, I went to the bottom of the barrel and um, got Richie McKay. Um, <laughs> to do it for me so you know, and you I know guess. Richie from his time as an assistant coach yes he was my assistant coach at the University of Virginia yeah well I would say you're you're a little higher than bottom of the barrel with Richie yeah right there you know there's the lower level and then there's him <laughs> <laughs> well congratulations um on your upcoming big day